Hi everyone, welcome to the very important session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about the difference between the pandas dot notation and pandas bracket method. Both of this method is used to extract the column of a data. Well, we can use any of this method, but ideally we should use a method which is uh, universal for all the situations. So in this in this video, I will basically cover the situation where dot notation will not work and where bracket method will work. And bracket method is certainly a, a foolproof method. So let's start. What I will do, I'll show you the select column names with spaces, uh, the scenarios where uh, dot notation will not work. Again, uh, select column names that have the same name as method, then select columns with variable, then select uh, new columns, then point number five will be uh, select non string column, then dot notation is a strict subset of a bracket and followed by selecting multiple columns and also auto completion, which works in both the cases, and uh, followed by brackets are canonical ways to select the subset of an object okay so what i will do here i will uh, i will get the import the pandas data frame as well as i will df which will we will call as df and i will also create a df1 data frame which will be of three columns so name fight one and the amount it you can take just there are three boxes rocky jimmy and tommy and and this is the uh, the fight they have won and also the amount if you say okay the amount they charge per match so let's start so the very first scenario is select column name with spaces now uh, i will just import these two data set and create this data set df1 is nothing but my tightening data set df is my tightening data set and df1 is the data set with three columns okay so so suppose i want to select column with space column name with spaces so in this df1 if you see here df1 there is a column with fight one so if I want to select this column, okay, so the dot notation is nothing. First of all, let's see if we say this, this is the DF1. If we want to uh, extract the column name, so we can say name with the, we can say, okay, DF1 name, okay, with the bracket method, it is extracted. And similarly, DF1 dot, if you give tab and then this name, and this will be extracted. So both in both the ways you can extract the column name now, but a scenario if the column name contains the spaces. So if we give the bracket method white one, if you execute this, it will show you okay the column. But if you want to execute a df1 dot and if you execute this, it will not work because it will not take spaces. This will not work. Fail. Fail. Now the second scenario where dot notation will not work is select the column name that has the same name as a method. Suppose we say that we will add one column df1 dot df1 max is equals to okay and we'll execute this. Now if you if you give df1 then our third uh, fourth column is added which has a value uh, 10000 1 lakh okay. Now, if you if you give df1, so if you are, when you are executing this only this portion df1 of max, it will give you that df max column, right? Now, in the case of dot notation df1 dot max, if you execute this, it will give you the entire uh, data set. Okay, even if you try to give max or mean, it will work in the same way. Now, set columns with variables. This means suppose we say the column is equals to name, and then we will say df1 of name with this method df df1 of column okay now with this method you can easily extract the name of a column okay but in case of dot notation if you give df dot call it will not work so select column method will like select column with variable also will not work with, with dot notation now setting new columns suppose if i say df1 state of this boxes is equals to new york then california and virginia if you execute this, it has to be executed like this. If you execute df1, then the extra state is added. Now, so similarly, we, we want to add one more column using the dot notation method df1 dot state1, okay, which is equal to same. We will add and this will fail, okay. If you give df1, that state1 is not added. Selecting a non string column is like suppose we want to add a column name which is 1. So, df, if we say 1 is equals to 3 just some values okay some numerical values 3 comma 3 comma 4 some state code or something is there okay if you execute this okay suppose uh, like in the fifth scenario is selecting a non-string column a name with a non-string okay method it will be like one two three so if we say df of one is equal to three four five we are adding some state code or any code if we execute this okay here it will be df one now if 
to execute this df1 is executed okay control l and then we'll get type df1 so here you can see straight code the name of the column is one okay now if you try to now if you try to select if you try to give df of one it is showing you right the value three four five but in case of dot notation if you give df of one dot one okay it will fail because it will say that this is invalid syntax okay now the other point is dot notation is a strict subset of a bracket yeah because if you see here control uh, df1 if we take here when we say the dot notation is like you can say so this amount column is nothing but a subset of this data set again if you say that uh, df1 dot name name is also a subset of this data set okay so through dot notation is a strict subset of a brackets okay so through dot notation we can get one column of data and it's nothing but a subset of data but if you want to get the entire uh, data set if you want to get more than one data set okay then you can uh, you can use the bracket methods like if you want to get more than one data set name followed by uh, amount and execute so name a df1 name a multiple column you can ex uh, like extract using the bracket method but you cannot extract multiple columns using the uh, dot notation selecting multiple columns that that is what i have explained here so there is multiple ways either you can directly give or you can say column is equals to uh, name amount and uh, also you can say execute this and then you can say df1 of call so you get this three columns okay now if you give like this one df1 dot this will not work this will throw you error similarly we should always use one method like which is a universal method and bracket method is a universal method dot notation will not work now many people will say they use uh, dot notation because auto completion feature is available in dot notation notation so if we say df1 dot simply all this column name will come okay state you will get the value set. let us take the technique data set df dot columns okay these are the columns so if i want to uh, take the cabin column trial here df dot c and then it will come automatically if i press the tab it has automatically came. okay but again if you want to use the uh, if you want to use the bracket method also df and then i will say see cabin method also came so this feature auto completion feature is also available in bracket methods okay the last method the last difference which i will show you is the brackets are the canonical ways to select subset for all objects so how this will work like canonical ways to uh, like the select the subset of all you can suppose we have a list list one is equals to we'll say 10 20 30 40 50 60 this is our list now using if we say list one colon three if we execute this we'll get 10 20 30 okay similarly if we execute uh, if you take tuple we'll execute the tuple and if we'll say uh, colon two okay it will give you a subset of the value okay four and five 0, 1, 2, 0 is 4, 1 is 5, and 6 is 2. So it will give only select 4 and 5. Similarly, it worked for the dictionary. Suppose I'll say dictionary 1 is equals to x colon 1, comma, y colon 2. So this is nothing but a dictionary. Now, if I say this will give me what? This will give me a subset of my data set. And similarly, if I give dictionary uh, of y, it will be give me a subset of my main data set. And also, even it will work for the string. If I say string is, uh, if I string is equal to hello world, and then if I say string, or if you say colon three, means it will uh, start from the first position till two. So H E L, it will go till there. Okay. One more example. If I say I'll start from three, if I go till four, then what it will extract? It will extract this L zero. See H is zero one. This is two, and this is three. 3 okay 0 1 2 3 and it will go till 4 okay. so ultimately this l will be extra so this is how we can say that brackets are the canonical way to extract select the subset for all objects because whatever we have extracted uh, the values of the list or the dictionary is nothing but the subset of the main uh, object of the data set okay. so that's it for the session uh, i hope like uh, i'm able to uh, give you a clear understanding of 
the difference between the dot notation and the uh, and the bracket method but though bracket method has an advantage but still uh, i like this dot notation because in my next video i will show how this not dot uh, dot notation method will help me to uh, to compare one column with the rest of the columns of my data set okay so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and uh, please refer my videos to your friends and i'll see you in my next video thank you